find something you like. Don't really like that kit. That's nice. That's really nice. Hey guys, welcome back to the Emlyn in the mix show. Now, if you know me or you don't know me, I like to play with different doors when I'm making my music. And for those of you who are watching this video today, you're probably wanting to just check out why I love Reason 13. So before I begin and we get into the show today, what is this show of course about? It is of course about new music gear, software and hardware, music technology alike. If you like that sort of thing, make sure to hit subscribe and leave a like on the video before you leave today. It helps the algorithm, helps other people find and discover this show where we discuss all things music gear, software and hardware. Now, today we're checking out Reason 13, the big boy. It has grown up to number 13, iteration 13. And I'm gonna just tell you why I love it. I'm just gonna explore some of the new instruments and features in this particular DAW or door, as I'm gonna call it from now on in the show. And before we get into that, I do have to mention my little treat for you guys this July. Don't miss out. It is my summer slash winter giveaway depending on where you are in the world. I've got a competition going on right now. It is five lucky winners of this show, five people who win, sorry, are each going to get their choice of a D16 group plugin of their choice. Now, if you don't know who D16 group are or you don't know any of their plugins, go check them out. They are phenomenal. They do Lush 2. They do some incredible emulations on the TB303, 808s, you name it. They have got you covered in terms of incredible software emulation. And I'm giving away five licenses to five of my, potentially five of my viewers that, I mean, you'd hope so that they are subscribers. Of, no, they have to be. I'm just kidding. Check it out. The giveaway, I have a link for it down below. It is my treat for you guys this summer slash winter. All right, let's get back to today's show. All right, so what is new in Reason 13 and why do I love it so much? Let's go over the specs. I'll have a timeline down below uh, if you just want to skip ahead to me just playing around with Reason 13, you can do that. Uh, so Reason 13 dropped earlier this year. And if you're a subscriber of Reason Plus, you would know that uh, you now have access to Reason 13 and can upgrade to Reason 13. If you had, I believe if you have Reason 12, I actually don't know how it works, but I don't have the actual subscription service here for Reason Plus. I just have Reason 13, which is fantastic. And shout outs to Propellerheads. Is it Propellerheads or Reason Studio? Sorry, as it is now called. I'm so old school that I still call it Propellerheads for letting us check this out today. So some of the key features that have been updated in this particular upgrade is the browser. Browser is phenomenal. I really like actually that DAWs or doors, sorry, I'm calling it doors from now on, actually really work this feature. It might seem like such a simple and sort of like a no brainer, but having a faster browser, especially when you're creating and you're just writing music, you just want to get to the goods really, really helps. So all patches, samples, and loops are now in one place and new browser. You can find the perfect sound by filtering on anything from name and kind of categories and even tags. Just type what you're looking for and the browser will give you suggestions to use the category and tag button. So we'll try that out today. <clears throat> I know like, for example, Ableton Live, they updated their browser in their latest update and that really makes a difference. So you can tag your content now. So all content reason is now categorized and tagged to let you explore sounds in a whole new way. And that includes all sound banks, all Reason Studio devices, and all sound packs. Over 20 years of sound design for you to use and abuse. Anything that isn't already tagged by us can of course be tagged by you. They've upgraded the sequence. And now on today's show, I do have to mention, I didn't mention this at the start of the show. So don't leave a comment down below going, Ooh, you're not even using Reason as a whole. So I'm actually gonna be using Reason as the rack plugin inside Ableton Live today. I know that might seem a little bit counterintuitive, but the main reason for that is that my recording software that I use to record this show, for some reason, I just couldn't work out how to get the output. I'm, I'm sure it's possible and I just didn't have the time to set it up, but I'm sure you can get the output routed into my recording software. Anyway, we're using Ableton Live just for the purpose of me being able to record this show. But I do, if I'm writing a song inside the Reason door, I do like to just use Reason 
resin's environment just because it's it seems to be very low on the cpu that's one thing they've always had going for themselves but also i just love the the environment like when you're in it you just it's very creative you feel like you just want to create and there's something about it that i really freaking love one thing I want to say, and I'm going to go on a little bit of a ramble here again. You can skip ahead if you just, this is a show. This is a podcast, okay? I'm allowed to ramble. Uh, if I'm creating and I start in a particular door, I don't care which door. I'm not like, I'm not like one of those fanboys that's just like Ableton Live or just like Logic Pro. I mean, although on this show, we do use Ableton Live a lot. And that's only, again, because of my recording software. I have to use Ableton Live. But if I start in a particular door, I'll usually follow through all the way in that door because I just, you know, the doors are designed for particular creativity and yeah, I just, I love Reason's environments. Now, for those of you, gosh, I've probably gone right over your head. If you don't know what a door is, you're probably on the wrong YouTube channel right now, but literally sounds for digital audio workstation it's a place where you can record your music and that's all it essentially is and reason is no except is exceptionally is a door all right so the sequence has had a major upgrade totally rambling off here the sequencer has been split into two parts with the new edit area it's easy to get down and dirty with the details in your music without losing your way in the arrangement together with several new workflow improvements, improved zooming, layout changes, and easy access to editing features. The upgraded sequencer makes it effortless for you to make your music sound like you. And I gotta admit, like, I'm not gonna lie, the sequencer is great inside Reason, but I do have my preferences when it comes to sequencing and probably Reason isn't my favorite choice, but that's okay. Like I said, if I start there, I'm going to finish through there. There's something about it that's quite intuitive and easy. It has an easy flow to get through. All right, it's got the look. Reason 13 doesn't just sound good. It also looks good together with the sequencer. The entire Reason interface has been updated. It might not necessarily improve your music, but it will make it easier for you to find your way around. Looks like they've got some new skins. We'll see if we can discover that today. All right, new sounds uh, for your sound, a bunch of new sound packs. Now, these are the, these are the new instruments. We'll take a specific look at these today. So you've got a new synthesizer, Polytone, which is a dual layer synthesizer. Polytone is a synth lover's synth inspired by their favorite vintage hardware they've designed and recreated the warm analog sounds you know and love. But it wouldn't be us with out if we didn't tweak the formula for more possibilities even better polytone has two layers that can be stacked or morphed between for super fat or evolving sounds so polytone is more than just a replica of the past it's a lovable tribute and they've got a new space delay ripley's space delay ripley combines delay and reverb with unique flavors of filtering noise and distortion coupled with extensive modulation you can create the delay you want anything from clean taps or warm analog sound to crazy lo-fi chips or watch that ambience everything that adds character and depth to your music and of course you've got all the reason tools you know and love there are three new devices though in this upgrade that simplify common tasks for smoother workflow so that you can spend less time on boring stuff and more time making music. So we've got a sidechain tool now. It's all about the ducking. So if you're into, you know, EDM or house, you'll know what a sidechain tool is, but you can use it on anything really. You can use it on pop music, have it, you know, ducking on a kick drum in a pop track, drum bass, you name it. There's a gain tool now and a stereo tool. Just little simple, easy little upgrades that are necessary for just making music. And that that is essentially, that is why I love Reason. Now I have a soft spot for Reason. I don't know if I said this because I've been rambling a bit on the show today, but I have a soft spot for Reason because I essentially, I started in Rebirth, which was their first, I guess you could call it a door. It was more of a sort of like a sequencer. Uh, it had the two TB303 acid line synthesizers or bass line synths, whatever you want to call them, and a drum machine. Oh, and it had two drum machines. Anyway, where you can make a melody, you can make a drum, and you can have just crazy acid techno music going up. I just have an absolute soft spot. And then, of course, they released Reason, Propeller Heads, and then eventually they became Reason Studios, and it evolved over the years. But the thing I love about Reason is that they, even though they've evolved they didn't i don't know they didn't bloat the software and i think i've said this on every every iteration they do add things 
but they still keep it that simple, nice interface. Now again, let's jump over. It is of course in Ableton Live. So I'm gonna apologize straight up that we're using it inside Ableton Live, but that was only because I needed to for my recording software, okay? So just so you get that. So don't go, mm, none of you using Reason in the comment section. You know I love Reason, okay? So we're not using the Reason sequencer, but we are checking out what is new and yeah, why I love Reason so much. So actually one good point that just kick us off is the fact that you have Reason Rack plugin. We can just open up Reason in any other door. Like that alone is a mind blower. And they've had this for a little while now, but just the fact that you can do it is incredible. All right, I guess we just check out, let's check out Polytone here. It's a very nice, very simple analog tribute. Let's have a listen to this. And I've got a Ripley there. I don't know if you can see that, but we haven't got to activate it, it's bypassed. So it's a lovely warm sounding synth. Let's get a few more presets here. Let's go to another one here. Yeah, just a very warm sounding, lush synth. It's very nice. All right, so this will be a good time to show off Ripley, which is also a new addition here. Just a lovely delay, which has all these options. Now, uh, we can play obviously with the front end and we can have a little look around here on Polytone. Unfortunately, the GUI looks really small uh, in that window up there, but let's just have a listen first and we'll have a little exploration. So here's with Ripley on. Really lush, warm delay. So it sounds super sexy with that delay on it. And I mean, you can play with the front end here. We can change the speed of the delay. <laughs> We've got a really slow delay there. Speed it up back to 1 16th or 30 seconds and with the polytone we can blend our two engines there we go really nice filters on it as well
But I think the main point that I wanted to share with you guys today and just looking at, you know, of course, Reason 13s, we're just looking at their new instruments here, of course, is just how easy it is to just sort of access and find a sound that you want. And actually, I haven't really shown you that. So like the search feature now, the browsing feature is just freaking awesome. You just type in what you want. Like if you want that polytone, you should be able to literally just type it in. There you go. And you got mono poly, polytone brass patch, different, um, so we could actually load one of those up. Here we go. Just how what it sounds so good, even with that delay. We can turn that off. Still sounds good. Turn it back on. Chuck in a different patch. Really fast delay. sounds so good do we add another no it's fun this polytone actually sounds really good oh, i really love the sound of it here we go we got some fat bass we'll turn off the delay for this Now check this out if you're watching us here on YouTube or Spotify. <clears throat> it is of course, actually we are on Spotify of course, we'll just get rid of that one there. And yeah, if you wanna listen to Emlyn in the mix on the go, you can on Spotify of course. Uh, but yeah, check this out. So we've got this monophonic uh, bass synth here, which sounds super nice. But the thing I wanted to point out, which you probably can't see on the screen there, is just how little CPU Reason uses. And that is another reason why I freaking love Reason. No pun intended there at all, but just the low CPU usage is just heavenly. Absolutely heavenly. All right, I'm going to get rid of the polytone. And I'm just going to show you one of my other favorite instruments here. This isn't new to Reason 13, but just freaking hell, this sounds good. This is the Complex One Modular Synthesizer. Absolutely love that one. Let's go through some different patches here. Find a nice patch. Just their instruments are just so nice. This one uses a little bit more CPU, but still not that hungry on the CPU. Just absolutely love it. Got some nice sequences. And of course, everything's tweakable. Change the shape on your filter. Increase the LFO. Change the LFO style. Change your oscillator key. Pitch. You know what I mean? Every, you can do all that. I'm not going to do that on the show. That is quickly showing you just what I love about Reason. All right, anyway, I really love that synth there. I'm not gonna do a deep dive. I just freaking love the sounds on that thing. But like, let's go, let's go all locations here. Let's just look for a nice piano sound and let's just see what comes up. Okay, we've got this one here. <laughs> Actually, I think that's given us basically something for that particular instrument. So let's go back to all locations user library here we go all locations here instead of instrument patches here we go grand piano what's this going to give us okay we've just got a simple grand piano so very nice and quick in that browser to find what i want now this is another thing i love about reason and these aren't new but just i wanted to show you guys this is freaking love 
this stuff here. So we can add, I just need to have a look here, baseline generator, chord sequencer, which one is it again? Let me just check here. One of these is very fun to play with. You got a poly step sequencer, quad note generator, scales and chords. I think it's this one. I think. Let's see. All right, we've looked at this before on the show. This is cool. If you just want to play one finger, like check this out. playing one note and you can change it you know we're in major at the moment we'll change it to minor Just really nice. And we have checked that out in the show. That wasn't the thing I wanted to show you though, because there is another one. And I think it's this one. One of these is just phenomenal. Yeah, it's this one. I think this is the sequence. Yeah, this is crazy fun. So you've got this amazing sequencer. I'll just blow it up back on the screen there. It's an incredible sequencer here. So we got a piano line here and you can just start so easily making songs here with reason. The sequence is great. But have a listen to this. So we've got a full sequence there and you got a bunch of different presets. We can open up another one here. Now, so just imagine you got stuck on a song idea. I want to add, I really want to add the Ripley on here. I just think it will sound so beautiful on this piano. Actually, I put it in the wrong spot. Let's undo that. Let's see if we've got, we got it back. Let's put it at the end of the piano chain. Nice bit of space there. How good is that? So let's just say you got something simple like this. We just want to add like, add some beats to this, right? Oh man, this sounds so good. I mean, you could just have like this here in the background. But you know what I mean, you can just get in there, you can have some incredible fun. Wow, is that affecting the actual... The scale it's in, that's incredible. I can change the scale straight away. Let's get some beats going. So we grab a player, I don't know, let's just grab, is it beat map? I think it's one of these, I should know this by now. But yeah, if we chuck a beat map there perhaps. There you go. I mean, how ridiculous is this? It's got something simple, right? Let's find something you like. Don't really like that kit. That's nice. That's really nice. I'm gonna drench this delay. Anyway, you get the idea, like just super simple. Hey, could like, I'm just already coming up with some ideas. I'm already getting stuck into the music there and having a lot of fun. And I think that is the real main reason why I love reason again, no pun intended, but you just get into the groove and I like, that is why reason exists. It is made by music musicians and producers alike. And so you know, when you're in the creative flow, you don't want little things slowing you down or stopping you or preventing you from being creative. And Reason 13 is no exception, of course, with this upgrade, but Reason as a whole, as it's always been, it's just been that quick access to dive in 
get an idea down. Like it's got audio and it's got all of that in the actual, in the Reason app. We, if you have a guitar, you want to quickly, you know, get something down. It's very quick, very intuitive. And I know there are other doors that are quick like that too, but there's something about Reason just feels very flowy, just keeps you going. And you can add, like, you can do VST plugins now as well. Like it has all of that ability to, you know, access the third party world of music software and plugins. But that's why I love Reason, man. It's just so intuitive, so much fun. And I know I use that word a lot, intuitive, but it's just so easy to use and just a lot of fun to just start creating. And I think that is very important, especially when you're creating music and for your own sanity. You know, you want to create something amazing. You need to be able to just keep the flow going without having to, you know, stop down, work out what you're doing. You can, the other thing is very cool about Reason and you would notice if you're a Reason user or you probably are if you're watching this and you're thinking, why should I even bother upgrading? And I get that. But, you know, like you can go around the back end here. You can get into the technical side of things. You can route things. You can have fun with these wires. I think that's a really cool addition if you're into like, you know, rack mounting and patching, bay patching. This is going to keep you hours and hours of activity here. Anyway, that is Reason 13. Just a very quick look at it and why I love Reason and this upgrade. Freaking shout outs to the Reason Studios team for letting me check this out and just love it that's why i love it it's freaking amazing all right guys thanks so much for joining me today what do you think of the show make sure to leave a like on the way out and hit subscribe if you haven't already i mean if you're still here i mean what are you doing with your life right now you should be subscribing to the emlin in the mix show we check out heaps of cool music gear software and hardware technology on a weekly basis here with the show and don't forget to enter this competition it is free there is no nothing for me i don't even keep your details if you put your details in it's not even for me to spam you with a bunch of emails this is literally for five lucky winners of this show it is my gift back to you it is a giveaway there are some little like things you need to do like of course i want to get more followers of course we want to get the community bigger because that's Essentially, that's all it is. I'm not going to spam. You're not going to do anything like that. You're just going to get, you maybe get a notification in your YouTube YouTube area where, oh, Emlyn in the mix has a new video. I mean, great, whatever. Like, you know, that's kind of cool to be in with a chance to win a piece of software that's valued at 200 US dollars. I mean, come on. I'm giving these away. Five lucky winners. a thousand dollars of giveaways here so don't miss out on this link for that down below probably should have said that at the start of the show anyway that's gonna end soon anyway let me know your thoughts on reason 30 and what do you think of it thanks so much for joining me i'll be back next week with another show until then peace out Be hey Thanks for listening to the Emlyn In The Mix podcast. Here, you will find all the latest in music technology, software and hardware, interviews and more. Also, don't forget to check out the Emlyn In The Mix YouTube channel today. Till next time, keep it real.